Hello, uh, welcome to the St Melitus Northwest Lent reflection of the day. My name's Steph and I was an ordinand at St Melitus Northwest from 2016 to 2018. I've done my curacy and now I'm in my first uh, post as the Associate Minister of Telford Minster, which is a, a church plant in the centre of Telford, and it's really exciting. Um, but today, we don't need to hear about that. <laughs> We're going to be looking instead at Jeremiah, and it's Jeremiah chapter 7, 21 to 28. And it says, This is what the Lord Almighty, the God of Israel, says. Go ahead, add your burnt offerings to your other sacrifices and eat the meat yourselves. For when I brought your ancestors out of Egypt and spoke to them, I did not just give them commands about burnt offerings and sacrifices, but I gave them this command. Obey me and I will be your God and you will be my people. Walk in obedience to all I command you that it may go well with you. But they did not listen or pay attention. Instead, they followed the stubborn inclinations of their evil hearts. They went backward and not forward from the time your ancestors left Egypt until now. Day after day, again and again, I sent my servants, the prophets. But they did not listen to me or pay attention. They were stiff necked and did more evil than their ancestors. When you tell them all this, they will not listen to you. When you call them, they will not answer. Therefore, say to them, this is the nation that has not obeyed the Lord, its God, or responded to correction. Truth has perished, it has vanished from their lips. This reading is part of Jeremiah's sermon at the temple. And it's part of his frustrations for the people that have been told by God to do one thing, but they have chosen to do another. He has, God has asked them to obey him, to love the people, to serve God with all that they are and all that who they are. But they've not listened. Worship in the temple was becoming a place to hoard blessings for oneself while ignoring those right there in their own communities, right the people in front of them. And they didn't stop there either. They also started to take their offerings, their gifts to God, but then take them back and eat them. It's as if they've gone, here's something for you. Oh wait, no, I'm taking it back now. And Jeremiah is frustrated and angry at these people. They were asked to do one thing, obey him. He freed them from Egypt and yet they still betrayed God. I sadly find this passage all too familiar because don't we see that in our churches? God asks us to follow him, to love people, to give all that we are to him. Yet people mess up, they turn away from God, they offer things and take it away back they say one thing, but do another. They choose, they want the kingdom, but without the king. They want to follow God without actually really following him. They want all the goodness, but don't want to have the sacrifice. So I ask you today, is that you? Are you somebody who wants the kingdom without the king? Who wants to have the gifts without the sacrifices? Do you practice rites and rituals to feel you're following God? Or have you chosen to really follow God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all of who you are? My prayer today, and I hope that you go away reflecting on this more, is that God stirs the parts of your heart that don't fully follow him. To lay down those things and experience the full power of God's love today, this Lent and the seasons and the seasons after that. In Jesus' name, Amen. <laughs>